changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other. Welcome to the Princess Pata Fabio Show. On this show, we change minds and change attitudes on how you perceive things in life generally. In life, we have so many questions but fewer answers on certain, certain issues that we are facing. And that's why I'm here, to give you the kind of answers that you may be looking for for the questions that you have. I am your friend, I am your sister, I am your coach. I'm here to make your day a blissful one. Welcome. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching The Princess Pata Pato Show. We have so many people living with bitterness of heart, bitterness of spirit, bitterness of soul that is not even allowing them to enjoy life. It's not even allowing them to worship God like they should. So everything in life that change your minds and change your attitudes. When you see somebody who is bitter, they live in the past. This person lives in the past. Beware of people who live in the past. That is someone who is bitter and angry about the past and doesn't want to grow in life and doesn't want to grow out of it either. So they always visit the negative past events of their lives. My uncle did me wrong, my auntie did me wrong, and so I can help the son, I can do this. Why should my son help your son when you remember what you did to me? You know, it's always going back and forth of what somebody did to them in the past and now in the present. So they always visit negative past events in their lives that involves you. You don't want that kind of life. You don't want to be around them kind of people. God is the God of yesterday, today, and forever, and he doesn't live in the past. So don't let anyone count your past mistakes for you in the present life. It will affect your future. Leave the past in the past. Don't allow anybody to bring it. Don't allow anybody to judge you by the past. Don't allow anybody to make you feel like you are nobody because of what you did in the past. Anybody who does that, anybody who is always living in the past is a bitter person. Bitterness will make you live in the past. You know, when somebody lives in the past all the time, no matter what they wear, no matter how much God has blessed them, no matter how God has lifted them, they will never see anything good in the present. It doesn't even look good on them. They will always want to be in the past. What are the causes of bitterness? I mean, you'll be wondering, okay, so you've told us how to know when somebody is bitter. What are the causes of bitterness? Upbringing is number one on my list. Upbringing. How were you raised? How was somebody raised? Could affect how they interact with every other person. And how was somebody raised that could cause them to be bitter? Were you those kind of child or those kind of kids that you grew up and your parents restricted you? from going out to play with other kids. Like, you never had the opportunity to be a kid. Everything, you were actually raised like an adult, literally. You don't go out to play. Your parents were so protective of you. That could cause bitterness in a child. And it doesn't matter whether they're rich today, they're middle class today, or they are poor today. It cuts across all classes of life. Upbringing, upbringing plays a lot on how our lives turn out to be when we become adult when people don't get to do the things that they should have done when they were kids and then they grew up deprived because they had overprotective parents it causes them to be bitter because then they will feel that they've missed out on a lot of things and other people actually had it better than they did in life upbringing is a big cause of bitterness molestation sexual molestation both male and female do get molested but when you see a man, he is grown now, and he is self-centered, it's all about him. All he wants is about himself, and he's introverted. You need a check. Was he molested as a child? And he has never gotten the opportunity to talk about it. That could cause bitterness. That could make him to be bitter. As a matter of fact, he could even hate women. Yeah. His, it will affect his relationship with how he, he interacts with women. Even when he loves a woman so much, expressing that love the way he wants to express it is going to be hindered because of what he has gone through as a child. He would actually be seeing this woman that he loves as her being the other woman that actually molested her. And it's the same thing with women as well. Some women never 
get over being molested as a child. I was molested as a child. But you know what? People deal with things differently. And grace and grace are not the same. Background and backgrounds are not alike. Destinies and destinies are not the same. I just have a different way of dealing with all of those things. So I understand when I say that a lot of people have this pain in their heart concerning being molested as a child and they never have the opportunity to express it to the world or to the people. And the fear of being judged. I went through it. At this point in time in my life, I really don't care whether you judge me or whether you say a lot of things. I've heard people say, oh, it's the way that a woman dresses that attracts people to molest them or sexually abuse them or sexually rape. I said, nee, that's wrong because I was five years old. What does a five-year-old know about sex? Nothing. It's a child for crying out loud. I have seen in recent times babies on diapers being raped by adults. How do you qualify that being the fact that it was the way a woman was dressed that led to sexual molestation? I believe that society should play a positive part where they give people the forum and the opportunity to actually express themselves, male or female, when they've actually gone through a molestation incident or when they've been raped or sexually harassed by the opposite sex abuses. Abuses could cause bitterness. As a child, verbal abuse. You're stupid. You're an idiot. You're a fool. You don't know anything. You are good for nothing. Look at your mates. Look at what they're doing and look at you. What have you brought home? Even when as an adult, abuse, verbal abuse. You would hear a man tell a woman, you are good for nothing. You are nothing. What do you contribute to my life? What have you brought into this house? You don't do anything. You are just sitting at home doing nothing. Have you gone out to see what other women are doing? Seriously, man. Devil abuse. That could make a woman be bitter. That could make a woman that you married that was so happy to be bitter. And it goes both ways. It's vice versa. A woman could tell a man you are nothing. Look at your mates. Look at what they've achieved. Look at what they've done for their wives. Why are you making noise? This little money you gave to me. There is nothing like little ladies. Come on now. The fact that a man can sacrifice for you shows love, shows commitment, shows he cares, shows he's a provider, shows he's a defender. So appreciate a man for what he gives, no matter how little. Trust me, when you appreciate a man for what he has done for you, it gives him room to do more. It makes him want to do more. It makes him want to go all out for you. So abuses, verbal abuses. What about physical abuses? When we talk about physical, physical abuses being beaten all the time for every little mistake, every little thing, you get blamed for it. The next thing you know, somebody's gonna hit you. I grew up like that. Every little thing, I got beat, I got spanked for nothing. As a child, but somebody would look at me and say, so how did you deal with all of that? I'm just me. My grace is different from somebody else that I can deal with whatever they throw at me. Because I got to the point where I had to tell myself I am good enough. My mistakes are no worse than anybody's own just because I'm patient, just because I'm part. I mean, I believe that people with great destiny go through a whole lot. And maybe that's just one of the albatross that I had to deal with in my life. So physical abuse could make somebody grow up to be bitter and they never see anything about life to be enjoyed or they become cowed that by the time they want to say, hello, oh God, they're going to take, oh, I'm going to be blamed for it. Somebody's going to say, I did it wrong. I didn't get it right this time. All right. So now after that, we're now talking about mental abuse. So you don't even know how to spell a cat. You don't even know how to spell a simple three letter word like a boy. You can't even spell a, 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 a word such as come. And you're saying that to a child and they're growing up like that. Of course, they're going to end up being bitter. All of this could cause bitterness, especially when not addressed. When we don't allow people the opportunity to address the thing that is making them not happy, that is making them bitter, at the end of the day, it's just going to make them be somebody else that they were not created to be. So society can actually change people from who they originally were to somebody else that they were not. Because why? If they talked about it, you would judge them. You will misunderstand them. But you that have gone through that, you that is experiencing that, there is somebody you could talk to. There's a pastor you could talk to. There's a counselor you could talk to. Get help. Talk to somebody. Yes, yeah, society will misunderstand you. Trust me. That's their job. They're human beings. Mortals, judging mortals. Like I said, it doesn't hold water in a basket. 
no matter what mortals do, realize that they are limited as well. So don't allow somebody's judgment of you become who you are. Don't allow what somebody says about you become who you are. Your judgment of me shouldn't qualify how my destiny turns out. Now remember, people only have so much power with what they say to you and it comes to pass when you allow them the opportunity to get into you and it begins to hurt. Get help. Talk to me. Contact me. cmca 4 life at gmail.com. I'm here. I'm here to talk about this thing. Bitterness, you can overcome it. Bitterness, you can heal from it. Some people are willing to talk about it, but they really don't have people to talk to. We are here. That's why we have changing minds, changing attitudes. And you know, some people in a way to try to find how to deal with bitterness, they depend on medication. Medication doesn't fix it, my dear. You need to talk. You need to talk to somebody that can listen to you and will not judge you. Some people go into alcohol. They begin to drink. They drink themselves to stupor and it doesn't change the fact. When you come out of all your hangover, it is still staring you in the face. And they start abusing all kinds of substances. And at the end of the day, nothing. It doesn't help. So I would say, talk about it. Society is there to judge. Society is also there to say, I'm here for you. Trust me, there are people living in this world that do care, that have gone through it and they want to bring help to your world and make it better than what you've seen it to be. I have come to realize one thing in this life, that there are certain people in this life that no matter what you do for them, they will never appreciate it. They will never be happy. They will always find fault. They will always say something is wrong with it. That's their lifestyle. But think about it this way though. Why would anybody want to play God in somebody's life? The simple fact that you don't like what I do, you criticize what I do, shouldn't make you bitter about me. Some people actually take it very personal about what somebody else is doing. And they become bitter about it. They become so angry that that person is living their life. Why can't you help people and let it go? Some people that are bitter today is because they help people and they feel that people forgot them. Why can't you just help people and let it go and realize that God put you in that place to be of help to that person? Whether they reciprocate your help or not, let it go go. Let bitterness go. Life is too short to leave it bitter. Life is too short for you to leave, not be happy. Life is too short for you not to go to bed at night and have a good sweet sleep and just loving yourself the next morning. Life is too short for you to leave it in regret and bitterness of heart and spirit. Some people have been so bitter that it has entered even deep to their bone marrows. It's affecting their joints. It's affecting every part of their bodies. Because why? Bitterness. Remember where you are today. God put you there to help people. Whether they appreciate you or not, know that God will reward you for your kind deed. Now, after all is said and done, if you must be free of bitterness, you have to let go of your past. You have to realize that in this life, God does not exist in the past, but he exists in the present and, of course, in the future. Realize that in life, people will do you wrong. Let it go. Heal. If you can express yourself of the wrong that they've done to you to the person, please do exactly just that. No matter what you see going on in life, know that you owe yourself a right to be happy. Know that you owe yourself a right to be joyful. Nobody can make you happy except yourself. We can only contribute to you being happy in this world. Be it our mothers, be it our fathers, be it our husbands, be it our wives, be it our sisters, brothers, children. The right to be happy is your own. It's not mine. My job is only to be a positive contribution to making your life blissful and making it happy. If you want to live a fulfilled life, let go of the past hurt. Let go of the past bitterness. Let go of every wrong that somebody has done to you. Remember, you owe yourself a right to heal from every hurt and every pain. In the end, you will be held accountable for how you spent your life here on earth. That is changing minds, changing attitudes. Until I come again your way on another episode, I am Princess Pat Akpabio. And as always, please do take care of yourself. Bye for now. Peace. Things are never what they seem to be. Changing minds. Changing attitudes Bring yourself
supposed to leave the prison wall Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to leave the prison wall Show some love, hold each other's hands In confidence we'll make the world a better place Watching the Princess Patapatio show.